pineapple, red light, stop. Are you interested in learning about boundaries from a former dominatrix? Well, in this video, you are going to get an opportunity to learn how to have conscious boundaries. Are you ready? Let's dive in. I've done this before. Business meetings, I mean. There are different types of boundaries. There are communication boundaries. There are physical boundaries. And then there is spiritual boundaries. We all have different requests, needs, and wants. And what matters is to listen to what is not being said. For example, when I used to be a former dominatrix and I would see my submissive kneel down and he would have different musculatures and facial expressions that told me and indicated that he was a no, I would listen to his breath. I would listen to his movement and what he was not saying, even if the sub was a yes. And a lot of us do not listen because a lot of you, some of you are in your head. There is a lot of inner monologue. What should I do next? How can I create more fun with this person? How can I inspire, motivate, persuade, seduce? We're so focused on me instead of we. And my invitation to you is to think about the we. I am your dominatrix right now. So I want you to imagine that you are kneeling on the floor and I'm putting the blindfolds on your eyes and I'm having you take a deep breath in. And I'm putting some restraints on your neck and I whisper in your ear, what do you want? What do you want? And you tell me connection, intimacy, playfulness, orgasm, pleasure. Except you tell me you don't know what you want. Big mistake. Big mistake. If you do not know what you want, I do not trust that as your mistress. The first piece of homework that I will give you, my darling, is to write three things. Are you ready? You're going to write what you want, what you don't want, and what you are curious about. So what you don't want, you wanna write what you actually don't want. For me to spit in your face, perhaps golden showers, pegging, maybe specific smells, specific parts of your body that do not want to be touched and really being aware of your body. So when you do this assignment, start listening to your body. Hello. Hi, pups. Your bag over there. Shoes off. Let's put your collar on. Mm -hmm. And the more you learn about your no, it's going to show up in every area of your life. If you do not know what you are a no to, then you do not know what you're no to in other aspects of your life. So how you do one thing is how you do everything, my darlings. The next part is, is finding out what do you really want? What is going to take you over the edge? What is going to inspire you to really get into your body? What excites you? 
I had a friend once who was really into balloons. Yes, there are people who are into ballooning, which is a community for people who are really turned on by balloons. Maybe you're turned on by stuffed animals, certain textures, certain taste, smells, what have you, and start to explore different sensations. Maybe you want something harder, more pressure. Perhaps you want feather light touch. Maybe you want lotion, hot oil, wax, or you want to be out in nature and being. <laughs> The last one is, what are you curious about? What are you curious about except you are afraid? Perhaps you do not want to wear a tutu and have your partner flog you with a rubber ducky or a rubber chicken. And maybe you don't want to experiment with certain things except there's a part of you that is curious about Maybe it would be fun to try on a tutu and go outside or have sex in the living room. So this is where you want to play with your fears, entertain that imagination, and really visualize in meditation with your third eye activated, really putting that awareness and imagine what it would feel like if you actually dove into that bed. The next aspect is communication boundaries. And what matters is to listen to their soft no. Usually if you ask them a question and they tell you maybe, it's usually a no. If your body is feeling like a maybe and you're undecisive, then you are a no. Always remember that communication relates to mostly 80% is nonverbal. The rest is verbal. Listen to the nonverbal cues. If you can tell, do you want to learn something that is going to turn a woman on? Mmm, I love boundaries. Boundaries are so hot right now. They're something that turns on every older woman who has gone through so much. And the best thing that you can do is always ask for permission. So let me share some tricks and tips I learned from play parties. One of the things I learned from one of the famous Monique Darling parties is thank you for taking care of yourself. So the first thing that I learned is when you go to this person that you're attracted to, you're going to, of course, build rapport, introduce yourself, and then you're going to ask a request. Perhaps you want to kiss them, perhaps you want to touch their arm, especially if you don't know them. And then you're going to ask them, can I have permission to touch your arm? What is wrong is asking permission and then touching them. So what you don't want to do is ask permission and touch their arm. What you do want to do is, can I have permission to touch your arm? You have to wait for a verbal yes. Not a, um, hmm, I think, mm -hmm. You want to listen for the yes. You, and you want to make sure if they're a, you want to encourage them to say a verbal yes and give them permission to say no. So when they say yes, then you can actually go on and touch their arm. And if they say no, my favorite sexy phrase, mm, and this phrase feels so good in my body, is thank you for taking care of yourself. So what happens if you feel rejected is the best thing to do is say thank you for taking care of yourself if you are in a physical situation. So if you are encountering this person and they say no thank you, no, then say thank you for taking care of yourself. The more that you start to respect their no, 
maybe months, years, and you never know because you respect their boundaries there may be a higher percent of possibility that they will start to respect and trust you. Part of building rapport is no like and trust factor. So always remember to honor the person's no and honor the person's yes. Honor the person's no way more than you honor the person's yes, because the more that you respect their no, they are more likely to trust you. Thank you, my darlings, for watching another video of Sex, Love, and Archetypes with your girl, Erika. And just know that the more you start to listen to these videos, the more sexual confidence you're going to feel. And the more sexual confidence you're going to feel, you're going to want to learn more. And so by getting some more videos, I encourage you to click the link below and you will get more videos by me. And I encourage you that the more you start to practice these methods, you're gonna feel really confident, you're gonna feel way more self-assured and peace of mind when you start interacting with the opposite sex or maybe the same sex. And so with that said, I hope this finds you so happy and so sexy.